And we're here with Coach Rich Shelsky from the Park Heritage Wolves. And Coach, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, third annual Gobert Games Classic. And uh, another year come uh, for basketball. And I know uh, everybody's well excited. Oh, absolutely. It's a great event. And, you know, it's a great way to kick off the season um, early Thanksgiving weekend. Get eight games in one day. And all, you know, a lot of the Wabash Valley teams, uh, I just think it's a great, great idea. And like I say every year, I hope we keep doing it every year. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care where it's played. We could play it in the Mecca gym for all I care. Um, but I think it's great for the Wabash Valley, and it's it's great for all the teams to get to see other people. And, and just like us, you know, with the team we're playing, it's somebody we would never play otherwise. So it's a great opportunity for the kids and the communities and just love it. And I think it's, uh, was it, game number five or six, you're playing Evansville Harrison. Um, you mentioned uh, them, so we'll kind of talk about that. Um, you mentioned, you know, maybe a, game, a, a team that you wouldn't necessarily play and how this event really kind of expands your territory and seeing more teams. I know it's got to be beneficial during the long stretch of the season. Oh, for sure. And, you, you know, our philosophy always with the schedule, we don't, you know, we try to schedule up a lot. So we don't play, we don't play a real easy schedule. But when you play teams like Evansville Harrison, you know, even though, you know, on a Saturday that's a doable thing to go there or for them to come to us, you know, and not that Terre Haute's in the middle, but at least it makes it a little easier for both both uh, schools to, to make, you know, make that work. And, that again, that that makes the opportunity of this this whole deal, you know, worth it. So, you know, they're, you know, they're a great team and going to be a great challenge for us, but a team that – you know, it's going to help us down the road and a team we're not familiar with. So, you know, our kids get to see their kids, their kids get to see our kids, and I just, it's it's a great opportunity for us. You know, you mentioned your schedule, um, having them on schedule last year. You had McCutcheon on schedule this year. I believe you picked up Terrell South. Yep. Um, you, you know, when you look at it, you have Park Tudor again. I think you yep. go there this year, I do believe. And incidentally, we do have you guys on uh, Wednesday uh, yep. starting up the season. I don't want to overlook the West Eagle Vikings. Um, a team that I, I would imagine would have a little payback from last year. They got you by a few points last year. So I know yeah. the boys are raring to go. Uh, we're ready. Um, we've talked a lot about that. And West Vigo's got a really nice team coming back. They've got some really good basketball players, and Joey does a great job with them. Uh, but we did feel like that was the game we let slip away last year. You know, we had a double-figure lead in the second half and really controlled the game. And, and you know, like – like the young team that we were, we found a way to lose. And uh, it's very, fr you know, we had to endure a lot of those frustrating types of games last year. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a good opportunity to see what our growth has been like and, and to see if we've gotten better. And some of the things that they're probably going to throw at us Wednesday night, um, it's going to be great for our kids to see where we've, you know, where we've gotten to from the end of last season to now. And, you know, there's, you know, it's a local game Wednesday before Thanksgiving. It'll be a great crowd, in, you know, in, in our place. Um, just, you know, we're looking forward to the game, and we need to play somebody. We've been going at it for so long. You know, unfortunately, none of our guys play football, so our guys have been going at it for a long time. So, you know, they're, they're ready to see somebody else other than somebody that has a Park Heritage jersey on them. So that part's going to be really good. You know, when you look at your team, you have a lot of returning. Uh, you, you know, you're looking at your scoring. Yeah. You have a most of you were scoring back. But when people watch Park Heritage, they see great defense. Your teams, uh, I believe the last four years have given up 70, 40, excuse me, not 70, 47 points or fewer uh, per season. So when, you know, per game every, uh, for, the, for those seasons. So, you know, winning games, uh, and we've had other coaches mention the same thing, defense, that's kind of the, uh, the theme of the night so far, it seems to be. That's, what, that's exactly what we've always hung our hat on now. We've done it a little differently with all these teams. You know, like when we went to the state finals a couple of years ago, we hardly played a possession other than man-to-man. -man. Team last year, we, you know, with our lack of size and really kind of lack of experience and things like that, we had to, had to junk it up a little bit and do some different things. But, you know, the, the emphasis in our program always is on getting stops and, and winning games on that end of the floor. We have, we have a lot of great offensive players. We've got a lot of weapons. We've got a lot of kids that can shoot the ball, a lot of kids that can score. But in the game of basketball, you, you don't do that. And I hope we do. You know, every coach hopes that they do that consistently every night. But, you know, we're not going to shoot 50% from the three-point line every night. So we've got to find a way to win games when we don't do that. And, and I – to me, the one thing I've really been impressed with our guys 
so far has been we've really kind of taken, I think we've taken that next step defensively and, and our guys are more mature and, you know, we, we, we just, we look a lot more locked in defensively and understand the importance that it brings to the table for, you know, giving yourself the best chance to win a high school basketball game. And, you know, that's going to continue to be our MO as long as I'm the coach, so. Coach Chelsky, thank you for joining us. Best of luck against West Vigo uh, on Wednesday. Uh, and we'll have that on our airwaves, but also against Evansville Harrison this weekend. Thanks, Walt. Appreciate you guys and everything you do.